So here's an example of dealing with complex trinomials, and more importantly, factoring them. Okay? So first, what is a complex trinomial? Well, this is a complex trinomial. And that's not a one at the beginning. And that's what makes it a complex trinomial. Okay? So for us to factor something like this, the way that we should approach factoring complex trinomials is we know that I need to break it into two factors. And I know that the first two things need to multiply to 12x squared. So that times that has to give me 12x squared. That's not the only option. It might be 6x times 2x. It might be uh, 3x times 4x. But this is an option, right? So what we're going to try to do is we're going to guess and we're going to check if things work out. Now, as we guess, we're going to try to think about why we're guessing and, and, and different things like that. So 12x and x. Um, and what about the second part? Well, the second part, this times this, needs to multiply to make negative 15, right? And we know that because the last two numbers are the parts with no x, so 3 and 5 might be an option. But if we think about it closer, 12x and 3 have a common factor of 3. And our original expression here doesn't have a common factor of 3. So that means that this, we shouldn't even try. So something's got a common factor, it shouldn't work. So we can get rid of that. And instead, let's try 5 and 3. There's no common factors here, right? So um, let's test it out. To get this minus 8x, I should do 12x times negative 3. That's negative 36. And then 5 times x is 5x. And if I collect those terms, I get 31x. But I want negative 8x. And that's not what I got. So that means that this doesn't work. So let's try another one. Let's stay with 12x and x. Well, what about 15 and 1? I shouldn't even try that because 12 and 15 have a common factor. So we'll get rid of that. What about 1 and negative 15? Well, 12 times negative 15 is negative 180x. 1 times x is x. If I collect those, I get 179. Definitely not negative 8. So that doesn't work. Well, what about now switching to 6 and 2? Because there's nothing else with 12x and x that I can try. So a 6 and 2, if I try, for example, negative 5 and 3, there's no common factors, so that's good. 6 times 3 is 18, negative 5 times 2 is negative 10, that collects to 8x. Well, now should we, we should be thinking, hey, well, that's the correct answer, but the wrong sign. So that means that our factors are actually those same numbers, but with a different sign. So 6x plus 5, 2x minus 3. And that's factoring complex trinomials. So it's just trial and error, but it's important to know what we can try.